I don't remember how we got on that subject, weddings, right? Mm -hmm. So like, we we cover it up. We don't think about it for what it really is, or what it really was, anyway. But what <laughs> weddings really used to be, right, mm -hmm. is um, everybody gathering, and you have to feed them, and they're just here to make sure that at the end of the night, you two go have sex. And and you had better. Otherwise, your father will be very angry, right? That was a close lightning strike. These things happen. Um. So yeah. Anyway, weddings, right? Yeah. Uh. It, they're they they were just a means by which your father could obtain goats and other livestock by exchanging you to somebody with livestock with the promise that you would bear their children. That's true. That it was is a selling, true. It was a selling of wombs more than anything. Like, listen, I got a daughter and who has a womb. eight goats. And you have eight goats and a penis. And a need for farm hands. I mean, children. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a party. We're gonna invite a priest so that it's not quite so rapey. <laughs> and I'm gonna give you. The priest will be like, who gives this woman? And I'll be like, I give this woman to this man. And then you're gonna fuck her later when I'm when I'm not here. <laughs> well, actually, I'll I'll probably still be hanging around and in some cultures people had to watch to make sure it happened, but like it's <laughs> whatever. <sighs> and she's she's probably not going to be cool with the fucking, but she has to because she's conditioned to obey. So, um if if I do this for you, will you Please give me a couple goats. <laughs> and then upon the birth of our first child, I will give you another goat. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like half up front. I got to pet an alpaca on Wednesday. So there were these alpacas and goats. And like, I went around the side of the building to kind of start measuring and I couldn't get far because of the fence. Um, but like, as I turned the corner, these creatures like stopped and stopped stared at me. It was something out of a horror <laughs> film. I've never seen animals so intently staring at a human being and they're awkward. Have you ever seen an alpaca? Yeah. They're just awkwardly shaped. <laughs> it was like children of the corn, but it was alpacas in a field. <laughs> they actually led us into the enclosure and she said that they the alpacas stare because they want food. So I think they just associate humans with food. Oh. So that's why they were staring at us. But slightly more creepy that they were staring like that. Like they don't move. Like they just stood there and stared with their weird long necks and their short, funny legs. <laughs> it was so funny. And then, yeah, so they came up to us. And, ah. um, oh boy, whoo, your journey ends, bitch. It's okay. So they came, they came up to us with their funny little legs. Yeah. And they're so cute. 